What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu episode 5. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands there of season 2. Last episode, we had the first day of group practice with the all the school's practice games. Um, our star players ended up showing up late, kind of made some wows, kind of caught some attention. You know how it goes. Real quick, I just want to say super shout out to Melanie over on Patreon. Has been leaving super nice, insightful comments about some of the stuff I've been missing. Letting me know that the guy who I thought was Akashi uh, is actually their setter. And the guy who I... Uh, that guy who I thought is Akashi is Bokuto, the, their ace, but Akashi is their setter. I was just misnaming people, so thank you. I always appreciate when you guys let me know stuff that I miss. It's just like, this is like a, it's like we're, we're friends watching the show together, so I just appreciate you guys so much. Remember, if you guys want to support me and get early access to the next bunch of episodes I upload early or full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. Always is an option for you guys. If you want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment, let me know your thoughts down below. It really helps push me out there into the YouTube algorithm. We need more views. We need more subs, guys. We need more people in the Dapper Squad. I appreciate you guys oh so much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and then for the updates. Let's hop into this. Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 5, called Greed. Wow, that's how you know you're cool when you go to the party with the teachers. I like that pillow. The blind quick, always as good as ever. He's, he's not more intimidated, he's more excited. Shinzen's even looking. I like that coach. It's only been two? It's only been our second quick and he already stopped it? Which someone also in the comments let me know that, I, what was it, 194 centimeters, whatever it was, like six foot four ish? Thank you again, guys. Like, look at this intimidating man. He's excited too. He loves the competition. It only makes him better. Kenma knows. Don't just mark him. Go for the toss. The read block. Alright, man. He may be a newbie and he might be young, but he is talented. He has potential. Oh my lord. I can see... I can, I can understand why he would confidently say, I'm gonna be the ace. I'm gonna do this, you know? The things you ask yourself as a coach, you know? Damn, man, the mind game. This is like a chess match. I, that's very fa that's facts, though. You evolve by trying crazy new stuff, you know? See, he's like Goku. He nods it really is. He only gets better under the pressure. He's like a diamond in the rough. Is he like entranced by the ball, hypnotized? Like you didn't even see Asahi going for that? Hinata? Subconscious, yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro, that's facts. That is true. It does take some greed, some selfishness to con to to. I don't want to say steal that from others, but to take that and say it's mine. I'm gonna do this. I like this. I, I love this whole because it's such a training arc, but it's such a training arc and a training arc that doesn't make sense, but that makes sense if that makes sense. You know, like it's like we're tra it's a training arc, but yeah. That's a very valid rebuttal from Kageyama. Like, you can evolve when we're not in the middle of a match. Like, talk to me in a second, you know? I can't be risking stuff in the middle of a match. But also, you have to risk stuff. And, you know, like... It's, it's, it's tough. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I don't know about that, Asahi. 
Bro, you know you're a good coach when not only can you analyze your team, but other teams to this much fucking extent, you know? Good way to look at it. <laughs> it was another one of sub his subconscious moments. I didn't even realize that. And that explains also why he got mad at the end there. Like, push him into the grass, you know? That's very, that's always been Kageyama, always been a very direct guy, you know? Everybody's even agreeing. で戦いたいって言っても変人速攻はほんの一瞬勝負。空中でスローモーション見たくない。相手のブロックが見えることはあるんだよ。こう、スーッと光が通ったみたいに。最後の一点、大王様は、及川さんの顔が見えました。目が
that brother rivalry y'all he'll have with they'll he'll have that relationship with no other person really you know I mean, just picture how we even got him into the team in the first place. Jesus. I like that. That's a good answer from the old old guys, you know. They got to work it out themselves, which is very realistic, you know. They do. The thing between them. Right? Is a mere moment. Even beyond that, faces and shit. I love how this. I love how Haikyuu has their own version of that. Oh my god, the way he just pictured that made it seem like it's literally the ultimate. <laughs> Look at that! Even greater champions. Oh my god. That's gotta be the thumbnail. There's nothing else that can be the thumbnail but that. That's a good thing to quit ask. That's what you need to ask right there. So, from Hinata's perspective, it's very understandable why he'd be frustrated. He's like, I don't want to rely on this thing that, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very strong, very useful, but I have really no control over. You know, I, I would love to be able to harness this and evolve to be able to, one, better myself, and two, if I can somehow evolve this, it would be unbeatable, such as what Ukai was just thinking there himself. But then on the other perspective, you have Kagayama, who's like, yes, but what you're doing right now is not only wasting time, where you could be working on other fundamentals, you are, you know, not developing this, which we already have set in motion, we've used, we've established that it's great, you know, like, you're just at this point wasting time when we have a huge tournament right around the corner. And he's like, yeah, but I will never get better if I don't do this, you know, so I get definitely both perspectives and I completely understand why they fought. I think, I don't want to say it needed to happen, but it definitely needed to happen. Like sometimes I'm a firm believer that if you get all of your if you guys heard that that was another video rendering if you get all your frustrations and vent all of that out against the per you know like you could genuinely just be like oh, you know what's up man you know like just be ready to to let that all in the past i don't think this is necessarily something like that but you, sometimes you just gotta duke it out you know i feel them but i love how this anime has its own version of the slow motion time when something crazy happens like like one of my one one of my favorite versions of that is Hunter Hunter. No spoilers, obviously, but in there, there's something where like when two great warriors are are are, are with the intent to kill another one and come close to it, like they're a millisecond away from dying. Motion is slowed down, and they can learn stuff about the other person that no one else in the world can know. Like it's like the two souls and the warrior connecting. You know, I love that version. There's one in uh, Demon Slayer that's also in like Attack on Titan as well, but it's like actually talking talked about in Demon Slayer it's like when you're about to die your life flashes through anything and and sort of its memories that it can to possibly give you that certain edge to get out of that situation like Tanjiro does it um Eren does it in Attack on Titan like it's just I love that thing but to have it in here as well it's like like obviously in real life if you're at the peak of your jump spiking down a ball you're gonna be able to see hands like it's literally gonna be a blur but like there are stories of spikers who at the peak of their jump can see the faces can see expressions fingers beyond that you know it's like it's like i love how this anime even has that its own you know it's fucking it's it's phenomenal i'm excited i'm about to watch this next episode thank you guys for watching remember if you guys want to watch the next episode early check out that patreon down below i appreciate you don't forget to follow me on twitch and on twitter guys appreciate you guys have a great day peace out